Hey everybody, it is Zach here from the Ed Boys, and welcome to my Crystal Shard Collecting Guide. The goal of this video is to discuss some of the different methods that you can use to collect Crystal Shards. Not necessarily a guide for how to do each and every method. I've made some actual guides for most of these methods, which will be linked in the description, so if you do have any questions on how to do a specific method, then you may find those videos to be a little bit more helpful. If you don't know what a crystal shard is, then you likely aren't looking for a guide to collect them, but either way, we can still discuss. Crystal shards are only available through activities in the elven city of Privdinas, so you do need to complete the Song of the Elves quest to be able to get any crystal shards. Crystal shards can be used to charge some unique gear that you can receive from Prith, including the Blade of Saildor, crystal armor, and crystal tools like the crystal pickaxe and crystal axe. They can also be used to upgrade crystal keys into enhanced crystal keys, allowing you to open the elven crystal chest, which has upgraded loot from the regular crystal chest including some unique Dragonstone armor pieces. Also, Crystal Shards can be used to make Divine Potions. Divine Potions are upgraded versions of regular potions. If you were to drink a normal Strength Potion, you would just gain some temporary Strength levels, losing one of those levels every minute. But with a Divine Potion, you keep that maxed out Strength for a 5 minute timer, rather than slowly losing the levels one minute at a time. After 5 minutes, your levels just go back to normal. This allows players to sit at a max potion boost for longer than just a minute at a time without having to resip a potion, which is very nice for high level bossing. Let's get into the actual collecting guide, starting with agility. The Prif agility course requires 75 agility to complete. Agility is one of the more chill ways to grind out some crystal shards, maxing out at around 15 shards an hour if you're doing full speed laps. In general, agility is a pretty boring skill to train, so often having something to distract you from the grind makes it a little bit easier. Adding loot, like the Marks of Grace for instance, was a very solid update for agility, and the Prif course is pretty much just replacing Marks of Grace with crystal shards. If you're focused a little bit more on collecting your shards rather than watching your XP, this can help pass the time on agility a little bit while being a solid method for getting crystal shards. For the next method, we're going to thieving. Pickpocketing elves around the city can yield some crystal shards, but also it's got some other solid loot making this a better money maker than the agility method when it comes to collecting shards. You can expect 26 to 28 shards per hour at a max pace while thieving for them, and I really do mean max pace. This would be with 99 thieving, wearing a thieving cape, having your already hard diaries done, using dodgy necklaces, and of course having your rogues gear so you're getting double shards. The elves require 85 thieving to pickpocket, but pickpocketing elves pre-99 is not highly recommended since they do have a very high fail rate. This makes the method less helpful for actual leveling while you're collecting your shards, but it's one of the top shard collecting methods for skilling. There's also a rare reward you can get while pickpocketing called the Enhanced Crystal Teleport Seed. This seed can be fused with 100 crystal shards at a singing bowl to make an eternal crystal teleport. It's a little bit expensive for its practical use, though it is very convenient. Since it's expensive to use, though, that makes it worth a lot of money for collecting them, making it one of the best skilling money-making methods in the game. Being a top skilling moneymaker and being a good skilling option for crystal shards, this gets a solid thumbs up from me. Next, we're sticking to skilling, though it doesn't really feel like it necessarily. We've got Zulcano. Zulcano doesn't require any extra levels past the Song of the Elves requirements. It's mostly mining XP that you're going to get while doing Zulcano. There's a bit of smithing and runecrafting spread out there, too. You can see anywhere from 20 to 30 plus crystal shards depending on your team size and how often you're getting the MVP during the fight. Zulcano is a pretty solid money maker and gaining XP in three separate skills while being one of the best crystal shard collecting methods in the game, that makes Zulcano one of the best options I have on this list. It is very easy to learn and grind out Zulcano kills and like many of the other methods in this guide, I do have a Zulcano guide linked in the description. Zulcano is not the only mining option for getting crystal shards, though it is definitely the preferred one. You can get some crystal shards while mining in the Treyharn Mine, which is located just south of the Zulcano entrance. Any rock that you mine here has a 1 in 127 chance to give a crystal shard. It's a pretty minimal chance, to say the least. Generally, your best option is to mine the Iron Ore, since it is very fast for power mining XP. You could 3-tick Iron Ore for potentially, like, 70k XP an hour, which would be up to 15 crystal shards an hour. If you're not 99 mining, but maybe more like 60 plus and rocking, like, a rune pick, you're more like 6 to 10 shards an hour, which is a lot weaker than Zulcano, but it is faster mining XP than Zulcano, to be fair. The clay mining mechanic in this mine is interesting. All of the clay that you mine in here is immediately turned to soft clay, and if you're wearing a bracelet of clay, you get two soft clay per rock. This requires banking, though, and overall means for a lot less rocks mined per hour, and it's pretty much worthless for grinding out crystal shards overall. It's an interesting mechanic, but it's not that great for this particular grind. 
Chopping down any tree in the city gives a 1 in 80 chance to receive a crystal shard. Generally, for better crystal shard rates, you want to chop down the lower level trees since you can cut them a lot faster. Chopping regular trees one log at a time isn't necessarily suggested though. You could potentially get some of your fastest rates on them since you can knock out a lot of trees, but it's a lot of high effort for still really not the best crystal shard rates here. I suggest going for teak trees if you want a wood cut for your shards. It's very similar XP rates to just chopping teaks on Ape Atoll, and it could add up to 10 to 11 crystal shards per hour depending on what your wood cutting level is and what axe you're using. If you're at like 35 wood cutting with an Adam and Axe, you're not going to be getting 10 shards per hour, trust me. There are some yew trees that are by the southeast bank, and at max pace you could get 4 shards an hour. And there's some magic trees by the northwestern bank that are more like 2 shards an hour. At a, this is at like 99 wood cutting. These methods do yield more profit along with the crystal shards, but it's really not enough to be worth it. Just the bonus shards that you're going to get from teak trees can help make up for the money, and your XP rates are so much faster at teak trees that you save enough time to go make up for the rest of the money at really any other money making method. Growing crystal trees is a pretty solid way for some passive crystal shard gains. You need 74 farming to grow a crystal tree, and even though it can't be diseased, using compost on the plant will yield more shards. The higher level of compost, the more shards you get. Each tree that you harvest will get you 8 to 16 crystal shards depending on that compost. The seed required to grow a crystal tree is a crystal acorn. To get the crystal acorn you have a couple of options. They can be rewarded from catching crystal implings, opening the elven crystal chest, or you can trade in other seeds like the armor, weapon, and tool seeds for acorns. I don't suggest trading in armor seeds or tool seeds since the weapon seeds are a lot cheaper. But I guess as an Iron Man, maybe that doesn't really matter much to you, so it's good to know that you have all those options. Collecting the acorns is not nearly as passive as just waiting for the tree to grow, obviously, but overall, the crystal trees are very nice for some bonus crystal shards. Fighting monsters in the Iron Earth Dungeon gives a chance to drop some crystal shards. Each monster in this cave has a 1 in 24 chance to drop the shards, which means that grinding out weak monsters tends to lead to more shards per hour. Even if you're fighting moss giants in here, which are very weak and you have max DPS, you're still not really breaking like 10 shards an hour very easily, somewhat depending on RNG of course. For this reason, I don't suggest using these Slayer Caves to just grind out crystal shards. Even though you don't have to be on task to fight a monster in here, I would stick to fighting these monsters when you're on Slayer task. It's going to make the kills a lot faster, and you get the added benefit of Superior Slayer Monsters. Superior Slayer Monsters in this cave are guaranteed to drop a Crystal Shard. You won't always get a task in this dungeon while grinding out Slayer, so it ends up not being the best option for just grinding out Crystal Shards, but overall the Slayer Cave does have some solid benefits, so while you're trying to get Slayer XP, if you do need some Crystal Shards, this is not a bad option for you. Generally and reasonably, the fastest crystal shard pace you're going to get is from completing the gauntlet, which is the toughest challenge that the Elven City has to offer. The regular gauntlet isn't too bad to complete for beginners and players with low combat stats, but you can still get 30 plus shards an hour as long as you're not dying to the Hunleft boss. The Corrupted Gauntlet gives more shards per completed attempt, though each run does take a little bit longer than a regular gauntlet, and it is a lot more difficult to do, so being consistent at the Corrupted Gauntlet is far easier said than done. With a Deathless Hour, you can get 40 plus crystal shards over the hour, which blows really any of the other methods out of the water. It does make a lot of sense though, the higher level, more difficult content should generally be more rewarding. Plus, the gauntlet is a very good money maker, one of the best in the game, in fact, if you're getting consistent kills. So, if all of these shard collecting methods are available to you, I highly suggest the gauntlet. It's definitely number one on the list. It's fair to mention that you can get crystal shards from catching crystal implings and from opening the elven crystal chest, but these are a little bit less consistent methods. As for crystal implings, they are rare spawns around the city and can only spawn in the city of Prithinus. In general, hunting implings is not suggested, nor will it be consistent the amount of catches you're going to get an hour. It's a 1 in 18 chance to get shards from a crystal impling, and you get 5 to 10 at a time. So, each impling is worth less than a shard, basically. As for the crystal chest, you need 10 crystal shards to even get the enhanced crystal key. Then there's like a 1 in 15 chance to get shards, and each time you get anywhere from 4 to 30. Even if you were guaranteed 30 shards every time, You'd have to get them every three chests just to keep up, so this is not really a good shard collecting method, but you can get some shards out of it. I believe that's everything that I wanted to talk about when it comes to collecting shards, everyone. Like I said before, this wasn't meant to be a guide for each method. In fact, I have many of these method guides in the description if you want more information about any of these methods. If you do have questions about collecting crystal shards, though, be sure to leave them in the comments section below, and I can get back to you as soon as possible. 
Thank you very much for watching my shard collecting guide, everyone. If you enjoyed the video or you just got some useful information out of it, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. I do stream on Twitch, which should be linked on the screen and in the description. I'm also on Twitter. I do have a Discord. Those are both in the description. Thanks again for watching, everyone, and best of luck on your crystal shard grind.